Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. It is early, but I am here at the Penrith Regatta Center, the home of the Nepean Triathlon, and also in a month, the Western Sydney Half Ironman, which I will be taking a part of. So I'm not actually competing today at the Nepean Triathlon, unfortunately. I did last year, it was great, but wanted to be here anyway to help support, especially since so many people from UTS Balance supporting me last year so I wanted to kind of pay that back and so I'm here resplendent in my balance blue so UTS balance triathlon club uh, to help encourage all of those that are taking part and that's them up on the hill the other side there so Nepean triathlon is called Australia's oldest triathlon uh, it was the first sort of proper triathlon started up in Australia by a few mates after watching Ironman Kona they thought let's do this in Australia so they did a slightly shortened version. It's a one kilometer swim, 30K bike ride, and 10 kilometer run. And it's out here at the Penrith Regatta Center, which of course was where all the uh, Olympic rowing happened during the Sydney 2000 Olympics. <laughs> Just heard that it was a wetsuit swim by 0.1 degrees. So it had to be below 22 degrees for it to be a wetsuit swim today. Luckily for everyone doing the race today, it was Calorie deficit. Oh, oh. Thank you, Joey. Now the great thing about these triathlons is that you see all sorts of bikes. I've already seen a few like hybrid or mountain bikes going past. Um, quite a few triathlon bikes, obviously, and a lot of road bikes. So doesn't matter what bike you have, you can do this triathlon. Check out this beard. Yeah, I guess. This has been your race numbers around the front, thanks. Tom Tudor, great effort. Yeah, yeah. balance. Well done, Mark. Yeah, balance. Yeah, balance. Want to finish with their Woo. little ones? You've got to go down to the girls in the group. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Race from that young man. Yeah. He's the team piss crew. Yeah, yeah Lucas. Well done. Finish strong. Number 764, Lucas. Pete, I'm gonna come and talk to you. Yeah, JC! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, Joe! Keep it going, good work! Thanks, mate. Woo! Another lap, finish strong. <laughs> you! Great work! You! Finish strong. Oh, great work, great finish. Nice work. Go Denise.
being at the event today definitely made me feel like I really need to get back into the training properly because I should have been out here. I don't know how I'm going to be for the half Iron Man in a month. I'm really going to have to up my game, up my training over the next four weeks especially. But it is going to be made hard because as I've been traveling recently for work, I'm going to be traveling in the future for work as well. So this coming week, um, this afternoon, I'm flying out to Melbourne. Uh, then the following week, I'm going to be in Adelaide. So a lot of traveling for work. I may be in Queensland the week after that. I don't know. What I do know is I will be back here in one month for the Western Sydney Half Ironman, which I did awesomely last year. It was five minutes, five hours, six minutes. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near that this time. I reckon I'll aim for about six hours. That should be, that should be achievable, I think. And it's definitely starting to feel like summer here in Australia. It's only getting to about 30 or so degrees today, but the last few days it got up to, it was about 38 degrees Celsius the other day. So yeah, we're really starting to feel the heat, which is nice, but hot. <laughs> Not used to it yet. And there's so many flies around today. Jeez, watching the triathlon, I was just constantly swatting flies away from my face. So this afternoon, before I head out to Melbourne on a flight, I'm going to be going to the Norton Street Festa. So I live in Leichhardt in Sydney, which is kind of the Italian area of Sydney. And so they have a big festival once a year where they just close down the entire street. It's just food stalls and uh, entertainment and fun and shops and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be heading out there now. Go there for a few hours, meet up with a couple of friends, and then back home, quickly pack my bags. They're already packed, just making sure they're double, double checking that everything's there, and heading out to the airport. So the Festa has been around for quite a long time as well. I've been going to it for the last four years or something like that. My favorite part is the loads of fresh pasta, that sort of stuff, they cook it all fresh, um, right in front of you. Great food. And my flight got canceled, moved back to 5.30 p.m. instead of 4.30 p.m. so I can enjoy this for an extra hour. Okay, this is ready. I reckon, huh? What are we getting? I'm getting Lager pasta. Oh, I am. Yeah, we're salsa. Hey. <laughs> So here I am, I made it. This is the end of my day. Uh, yeah, I flew to Melbourne today. I'm in Melbourne for the week, uh, for work, doing training. So I'm gonna be going to the Snap Fitness in Fitzroy. And I'm also gonna be doing a lot of running as much as I can. There's a really nice park that I know that I can run around here. If you wanna check out my video I did last year, where I actually did the Nepean Triathlon. I'll leave a link up here. If you want swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.